Greetings, YouTubers. This is Jean, a.k.a. the Brooklyn Blue Jay, bringing it to you on a Tuesday night. A very unlikely night, but uh, nevertheless, I wanted to give you guys a quick update, just letting you know what I'm up to. And uh, so far, this is what I'm up to, and that is this stuff. I have been watching and following several of you guys regarding this stuff right here. And over and over again, folks have been calling it Egg Crate. And uh, I think I even messaged a few of you. I'm like, okay, what is this stuff? Where do I get it? People res responded and they were like, oh yeah, you can find it at Home Depot. I'm like... Is it literally called egg crate? They're like, no, it's like light diffuser, whatever. So I went to Home Depot and picked this stuff up. And guess what? It's like called egg crate. <laughs> I just thought this was hilarious, but this is a light diffusing type of screen stuff um, that several of you guys in the aquarium hobby use to uh, cover your aquariums with and I'm about to follow suit and do the same because one of my uh, one of my glow light tetras actually jumped out of the tank and I was really, really distraught over that. Um, I was trying to find them, but they're all being punks and hiding right now. But uh, yeah, one of my females, she jumped out. It was very disturbing because uh, the cat was uh, playing with some little fishy corpse on the floor and it really, really was terrifying to witness. But uh, I did some research and found out that these guys, um, the uh, glow light tetras, when they are in breeding season, they get jumpy. So uh, the, the female, I had a, a big fat pregnant female and I guess the males must have pressed her uh, a little too hard and she wound up jumping out the tank. Now, another thing that I did some research about is that uh, when you have a bunch of floating plants, it creates what's called a false ceiling. So the tendency of your fish to jump out of the tank is uh, significantly reduced when you have floating plants the way the way I do, this false ceiling. But um, I recently, if you saw my last video, I recently removed a bunch of plants. So I guess she managed to jump out of uh, one of those empty corners or whatever. And uh, she, you know, she, I, I couldn't save her. She was, by the time I found her, by the time the cat found her and was playing with her or whatever, she was, she was very dead and very dry. And it was very, very, very disturbing. So now I'm going to change my game plan. I'm going to um, I'm going to put the, this this egg crate stuff on on the top of the tank. Uh, you see, I I have not only like the T5s, but I also have this um, the what is that called uh, CFL. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up up here on the top, and uh, I'm going to take out the the T5s, and I'm just going to put. Um, like, I don't know, one or two more of these little, um, what are these called? This is like a reflective, I think it's called a reflective hood or whatever, but it holds the bulb. So I have, let me just show you really quickly. I have a few of these and these are the uh, 6500K, what was it? I think 6500K, what is that? S something like that. Yeah, they, they, if you could see it, oh, right there, 6500. So um, I'm gonna put a couple of these on top of this, and that's gonna be my, my quote unquote hood. So that's the plans, the, uh, the, the most recent up-to-date um, plans 
for the 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 twenty the twenty gallon, and hopefully I will not have another fish jump out, and um, I will be able to uh, maintain what I'm doing here with the plants. Just trying try, just trying to figure it out as I go along. And before I break this stupid thing, yeah, forgive me. So, yeah, that's that's the update. Sorry, guys, for the, you know, the little bit of ratchetness there. But um, I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you again for your support. Um, for those of you who have been following me and supporting me. And this is Jean, a.k.a. the Brooklyn Blue Jay. Oh, wait a minute before I sign off. One last thing. Guys... What should I stock this tank with? I really want thread fin, thread fin rainbows again, and they're just so hard to come by. I'm I'm desperately seeking thread fins, but uh, what what are your suggestions for this? Twenty gallon, uh, high, whatever you want to call it. Twenty gallon regular, whatever you want to call it. Uh, planted driftwood, low pH. I'm in like the 6.5 range. So uh, what are your suggestions? I'd like to know. So now I will sign off. This is Jean, a.k.a. the Brooklyn Blue Jay. Be well all.